that they happen, as do uh, some of the organizations that are in the broader public sector. And uh, it's my pleasure to turn the microphone now over to Chris Bolton, who's the chair of the Toronto District School Board. Uh, I said to him one day when he was on the radio program with me, this is a job that uh, is underappreciated and, and, and not under, well understood by a lot of people, but it's a big job and it's a really important job, and they stand up and uh, help uh, make sure these events happen as well. So Chris, come on up. Uh, not to be grilled on the air, um, <laughs> I am, uh, but politely, I was grilled politely over at 10:10. Uh, 10, 10. But uh, thank you, John, uh, uh, your honor, uh, special guests, and. Uh, and counselors, uh, audience, uh, students, particularly from the schools, uh, and, uh, and in particular, uh, Adam Vaughn, who is my counterpart downtown. Um, I, I'm very pleased to be here on behalf of the Toronto District School Board um, with John Hastings, who has been an advocate for cricket, along with Annie Appleby in the north end of the city. Uh, and as we can tell from the students who are here today uh, representing the Toronto District School Board as well as cricket, you can see the, the level of, of engagement of those students and the schools in what's happening here. I think uh, uh, Raza has already uh, talked about it and Amal about a couple of things. Uh, first of all, there's the sense of the Tron uh, Toronto being a, an incredibly multicultural city and to be able to uh, engage our youth in activities that are reflective of their cultures and that's certainly what we want to do in the Toronto District School Board and over the last two years actually the mayor, the councillors, um, the trustees from the Toronto District School Board and the chair from the Toronto Catholic School Board have been working on developing a better relationship of how we all work together, whether it be under nutrition or whether it's under the pools that you may have heard, the pools agreement that you may have heard, or this kind of activity to be able to mutually support what's good for our communities and what's good for the city and particularly what's good for the coming generation, our youth. I think the other thing too about this and, and uh, Raza spoke about it was this, uh, the concept of the spirit of cricket. And when I talked to Annie Appleby, who's the superintendent uh, for the north end of the city, um, we talk about the engagement and the kind of spirit that is involved in playing cricket. The sense of, of, of mutual understanding that's, in, that's important in order to make that, make that game work. Um, I think that's very important as we try to develop a sense of belonging and engagement in our schools. I want to say that it is, it is a, we're very proud to be part of this as the Toronto District School Board with the Mayor and following on the Mayor's example and the councillors as well. Adam and I, I think, are very interested in developing uh, cricket pitches downtown, downstairs, downtown, and uh, we're, we're very interested in the concept of growing the game as it grows to become more a, a part of the fabric of not only the Toronto District School Board, but the city. And this year we're doing this in a concentrated fashion, thanks to Renil and Vinod and the other people that have been helping uh, to develop the, uh, develop the tournament as we try to grow into new districts in the Toronto District School Board to be able to bring an understanding of yet another opportunity to be able to engage and organize sport. So, on behalf of myself as the chair of the Toronto District School Board, I'd first of all like to thank the sponsor, and I say this advisedly, a sponsor of the, um, of the, uh, of the tournament, uh, and that's CIBC, as well as the other sponsors. I'd like to also particularly, uh, particularly say, thank the Sun uh, for, for their support in this. It's very important to us all that the message gets out and uh, look forward to a great tournament leading up to the trophy tournament in June. Thank you. Uh, job in our community, and uh, I'd like to ask her to come forward because, again, they've been very supportive of this venture, and to say a few words, Dan, thank you.
Well, thank you very much, Mr. Tory. Good morning to everyone. And first off, I'd like to thank all the sponsors for this wonderful event. I have to say that the involvement of Toronto Catholic came at the 11th hour of 59 minutes. A uh, quick email and a very quick meeting uh, brought us to the table. And I have to say I'm very pleased on behalf of our board to be part of this wonderful event. Um, I'm new to cricket. I mean, I've seen it on television, but as far as, as Mr. Tory said, understanding the game, as I just learned about golf, I think I'm going to learn about cricket myself, too, because it does look very good and interesting. And you get to wear white during the summer. <laughs> they prepared a speech, and I'm not good at the speeches. One of the items that I just wanted to, uh, to touch on is that uh, we are encouraging cricket involvement with our children who might not otherwise be engaged in the sport and to showcase the talents of the young people who are already enthusiastic about it in our schools. And uh, it's real, I'm really proud to be able to acknowledge the students um, from Blessed Cardinal Newman, uh, because until we got the call and became involved, who knew? Who knew that we were already doing it in our schools? So it's a sense of pride that I have them here today. Um, we have a newly uh, approved multi-year strategic plan which focuses on student achievement and well-being. And uh, we take seriously the role in promoting healthy and active living starting from an early age. And this includes supporting the growth of athletics in our school. So this is a perfect fit and a perfect match. And I'm looking forward to a long relationship. And uh, because we are supporting at least a quarter of the students in this city, and in partnership with the Toronto Public Board, that's a lot of people that uh, we want out there. And I'm hoping that uh, the trustees of our board will work closely together with the city councillors in their respective wards to see how we can partner with the board and, uh, and the city in improving the pitches. I'm not sure what we have available, but I'm going to extend that invitation that we work together on that. And uh, again, thank you to all the sponsors. Thank you very much from SEMA uh, and the organizers for inviting Toronto Catholic to the table. And I look forward to a long relationship. And best of luck and uh, good luck and great sportsmanship to all the students involved. And I hope this is going to grow from here. Thank you very much. For you. I, I wrote suitcases full of speeches that uh, Premier Davis, for example, never delivered. Some of the young people won't even know who Premier Davis was. And his answer always to me was, well, I got all the points across that uh, were in the written speech. So you can always give that answer to those who prepared those remarks. But yours were terrific. And thank you very much. Um, could I now, and the Chief Blair, he doesn't get to speak, but I get to say he's doing a fabulous job, and I'm just delighted to hear today. He's going to be up, he's going to be up uh, presenting the, uh, the, helping to present some of these uh, trophies, but I do want to just begin the process of recognition of those in the room who have achieved uh, excellence by first asking if the girls' cricket team from West Humber Collegiate would please stand up and so we can recognize them. West Humber Collegiate uh, Institute recently won a spot in the TDSB Indoor Girls Tournament Playoffs, and they're here today representing TDSB Girls Cricket, and we honor them and we congratulate them on our outstanding participation in the tournament. So well done, uh, way to go, and keep going. And uh, we look forward to seeing them and the other girls teams, and it's great to see the number of young women who are participating in this, competing for the new uh, CIBC trophy in the 2012 uh, CIMA Mayor's uh, School Cricket Tournament. Uh, may I now ask uh, Chris Bolton and Ann Andrzejewski and Amal Renayake uh, and uh, Raza Hassan to join me uh, to come up for the